ankle fracture and external rotation stress radiograph. You will do the stress view of the ankle before surgery to check if the medial clear space is more than 5 mm, then you got a deltoid injury. The injury is spination external rotation type 4 and not type 2, and this one will need surgery. The truth is, an isolated fibular fracture without tailored displacement is a difficult problem, and the clinical examination is unreliable in predicting medial injury. The tenderness, the ecchymosis, the swelling is of limited value in predicting ankle stability. So we do one or two things, either external rotation, a stressor to graph, or gravity stress test. Both of them are more sensitive in detecting ankle instability. External rotation stress radiograph. You will do external rotation of the foot with the ankle and dorsiflexion. And you're going to check the ankle in the mortis view. I personally like to inject in the ankle with some numbing medicine to make it less painful to the patient. And the whole idea with abduction and external rotation of the talus you will try to displace the fibula from the incisura. And when the talus moves laterally, freely, because the deltoid is injured and it displaces the fibular fracture, that will cause an increase in the medial clear space. How about the gravity test? You will support the leg with a pillow and allow the ankle to rotate with gravity. Occasionally, I get CT scan of the syndesmosis and compare both sides, magnify the views, and measure it by the computer. So the most predictive of a medial side ankle injury is the presence of a high fibular fracture fibular fracture at or above the joint level. And if you have a stress radiograph showing the medial clear space four or five millimeter or one millimeter greater than the superior joint space, that means there is deltoid ligament incompetence and the talus is free and it's probably a spination external rotation type four, not two. Tenderness Ecchymosis and the swelling are not reliable if you want to assess the deltoid competence. Also look for any lateral tailor subluxation. It means the ankle is unstable. The most important point in assessing ankle fracture for surgery is the position of the talus in the mortis because surgery will maintain the talus centered in the mortis. The deltoid ligament is the primary stabilizer of the ankle joint under physiologic loading conditions. The role of the stress view during surgery, you can use the stress views or you can use cotton test. You want to make sure you don't have syndesmotic injury, and you can use the criteria that decrease tibial fibular overlap or increase in the medial clear space, which should be 4 mm or less, or increase in the tibial fibular clear space more than 5 mm, which you will measure 1 cm above the joint. And you will do that as these views after fixing both malleoli. Just remember, 
you will need more synosmotic screws in Weber C, especially if the deltoid itself is injured. I have never seen an exam that doesn't have something about assessing the stability by abduction, external rotation, stress, view of the ankle, either before surgery or during surgery. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.